Well, we told you a few minutes ago that winter officially starts tonight, so that means icy, snowy roads probably aren't far behind. The Federal Highway Safety Administration says more than 100,000 people are hurt every year because of winter weather-related crashes. So, in this morning's Consumer Confidential, NBC News senior consumer and investigative correspondent Vicki Wynn is joining us to help out, and she's brought along some props yeah. uh, to help. So, I mean, what do we need to know? in terms of winterizing our vehicles. Vic. It's so important. You want to make sure your car is roadworthy, and it starts with the tires. So there's this penny trick that a lot of safety experts mm -hmm. talk about. You take a penny, you put Lincoln's head side down, and you put it into the groove of the tire, like you see there. Now, if you can see the top of Lincoln's head, kind of the banner cut it off there, but if you can see the top of Lincoln's head, that means that your treads are too worn down. You need new tires. Oh. Now, if you're in a place where it's really icy, slushy, snowy, consider installing winter tires. They're made of a different material that gives your wheels more grip on the road in wet and icy conditions. Tire pressure is very important year round. You should be putting air in your tires or checking it at least once a month. And you don't look at the numbers on the side wall of the tire. You look in the door jam. That's what it should be, or the owner's manual for your particular vehicle. And then finally, here, let's go to these emergency supplies. This is something you should have in your car, like a winter safety kit. First aid, of course, that can stay in year round. Water and snacks. If you travel a lot with your pets, put in some pet food in yeah. case you mm -hmm. are stranded on the side of the road for some hours. Not just a flashlight, but an actual headlamp Head keeps your hands free. Yeah. Had several of those That's on this hour. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Kitty litter is one people don't think to keep in their cars, but this can help get you out of a snow, like a snow jam. If you're right. in snow, you pour it behind your wheels back up. It gives you some grip. And then, of course, remote jumper cables and always be charging. ABC, ABC. like Alice says, a portable cell phone charger. What are those orange things? The, the these are discs. lights and also oh, flares, kind of like which is that. great. These are, these are battery powered, but you could also have the traditional flares oh. that you like. But these are great because they last a long time. And you've got one of those hammers with a, uh, with yes. a, a razor. That, that helped me. Nick and I had an accident a wow. few years ago. Yeah. And we used that to get out. Did, Did you have that? to break a window? I had to or break windshield? a window and cut the seatbelt. Jeez. Ow, really? You know that? Yeah. We, we got to go into that at some point. You oh. have to really MacGyver yourself out of a like, life I mean, or death I scenario. It was tough, but I, don't, I didn't know it was that bad. Yeah, it was a good time. Anyway, <laughs> we haven't let him drive since. No, anyway. <laughs> just uh, okay, so let, how do we drive as safely, speaking of, as safely as possible as we hit the winter? Okay, so this is a tip from uh, Bridgestone, the tire makers. But if you can go to a parking lot or a, a remote road, see how you feel behind the wheel in these yeah. kinds of conditions. How is your car? How are the brakes? How's the steering? And then just remember when you're on the road, to accelerate smoothly. No jackrabbit starts. That's mm -hmm. what causes those spin outs. When it comes to brakes, you never want to slam on your brakes because that also will lock up your wheels. And remember, it takes 150 feet for your car to come to a full and complete stop in an icy, on an icy road. So give yourself a lot of distance between yourself and the car in front of you. Uh, NYGov.com reminds us to match our speed, not to the sign. If it's 55 miles an hour and whiteout conditions, you should be going five miles an hour, right? Uh. Don't follow too closely the car ahead of you. And Give those snow plows some distance. Yeah. Yeah. The people who are just jamming up, trying to get around, you know what you're going to run into? A bunch of snow, because that's right. what they're doing. They're clearing snow <laughs> off the road for you. So keep your distance. Give them some space. And just because you got a four-wheel drive doesn't, doesn't mean... Absolutely not. Yeah. I remember um, a few years ago, we were driving upstate, and I was with my family, and we hit a patch of black ice. Mm. And it's the scariest thing, yes. because you you don't... You, I mean, you've learned, turn in the direction of the scale, like yes. all these things. Yes. When you are sliding... Right. You panic. And you don't know where you're yeah, going. Goes like I saw window. a ravine, you know... You've got to get into your zen moment, and driving experts will tell us where your eyes go is where you want to steer. So look not in the direction of where you're skidding off to. Look where you want to go. Don't slam on your brakes. Older cars, you are going to pump the brakes, but most of the newer cars right. on the road have anti-lock brakes. Apply firm pressure to the brake pedal, and don't freak out when you feel that pulsating. That yeah. means the anti-lock brakes are working for you. If your back wheels are skidding, again, don't slam on the brakes. You're going to steer into the skid and then slowly accelerate out of it. If it's oh. your, yes. So it's hard to think of all of yeah. these things if you haven't yeah, practiced we just, we them before. Yeah, exactly. You just <laughs> held on. Let okay. me tell you what not to do. Get in the car with you or out. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Not wrong with you all. But you know what? We like, it was slow, and then we stopped, and we were like, Okay, well, let me give you this because you may need to cut yourselves <laughs> yeah, exactly. out of a seatbelt at some so, point. But wait, it sounds you, like you come back around, like you come out of it. You come out of it. It's basically letting your wheels catch themselves on the road, and then you're going to accelerate slowly in the direction you want to go, where your eyes are looking. This could be a buddy up. Yeah, really. <laughs> that was me. They have those courses that you can practice. <laughs> okay. Vicky, thank you. Great well, tips. Good. Great tips. All right, thanks, Vic. Cool.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.